packing news for you guys. Center Leon Dreisaitl signed an eight-year, $68 million contract extension with the Oilers on Wednesday, which is today, an average value of $8.5 million. Dreisaitl was an unrestricted free agent. Career highs and goals, 29 assists, 48 points, 77 power play goals, 10 power play points, 27 game winning goals, 5 overtime goals, 3 and rating of a plus minus 7 last season. Uh, second on the Oilers in goals, assists and points behind center Connor, McGre uh, Connor McGregor, just about to say, but, uh, behind Connor McDavid. Uh, Dreisaitl, uh, let me give you my thoughts here. As far as Dreisaitl goes, um, he definitely deserved it. Uh, I think I have just, well, okay, if we're just looking at this past season as to what he's done, he, he deserved it. But obviously it's more than one season. For the Oilers' sake, uh, I think they better hope that he could get it done because, um, you know, between Dreisaitl and uh, McDavid, uh, that's a lot you have invested. Uh, it could hurt him down the line, especially with, you know, no, I think, no real top two defensemen. When you look at Talbot, in my books, he's still unproven. He had an amazing year, don't get me wrong, but that's one solid full year doesn't make him uh, doesn't make a, a career. Listen, uh, but I understand now when you have McDavid and you have Dreisaitl uh, locked up, that's the way you build dynasties. That's the way you build cups. Listen, it's less of a percentage than what uh, the Pens took on for Malkin and Crosby. I think the Oilers will be fine. Uh, when you invest, you might be saying when you invest 30% or whatever it is, 28, 29, of the team's salary in two players for at least eight years, you might be saying, well, Tom, you're going to be struggling to resign key players or desired free agents. But I argue the exact difference. That's why the Pens have gone back to back only a few years after Crosby and Malkin were taken up, I think, uh, in the high, um, low 30% there. Free agents want to come to play with the best player in the game. In the best arena in the league while playing in front of the best fans in the world. Players will flock to it. Did you know, uh, you know, maybe they will r struggle to resign some key players in the Oilers. But I think they will find key players that want to play with two of the best forwards in the league. And they locked up their two key players for the next eight years. Personally, I don't see how it's worse than what the Penguins or the Blackhawks have been doing. And I think overall, they're just fine. They're fine. I think this team will be definitely fine. In three to four years' time, this is not much of an issue. You know, in the last decade, the salary cap has gone up over $25 million. You have less than $8.5 million spent uh, on your, you know, on the top uh, pairing defense for the next four years. I think the Oilers will be fine. I think the Oilers will definitely be fine. I like this move. It locks up a key player. Hope all is well. Look forward to speaking to you soon.